welcome welcome back you guys to my youtube channel thank you so much for hopping on and watching this video today's topic that i want to talk to you about and you know bring attention to is you know the setbacks is just bringing you up for a comeback right i think that so many times our ego gets the best of us when shit happens inside of our life and then our ego creates so much stories inside of our life on you know all the negative of what's going on inside of our life and then we lose sight of the positive on the positive side of why things are happening to you right and i'm here to talk to you guys today about you know our the, the ego and how our ego creates these stories that really affect our mental health and our emotions with looking at the positive when the setbacks come about right at the end of the day I'm you guys know in all my videos I only talk about things that I've experienced and recently I've been experiencing a lot of setbacks and a lot of these setbacks are you know things that I I had a vision I had a goal on it I had the intention set and all that and then all these setbacks started to come in just different areas inside of my life and it just made me realize that you have to appreciate the setbacks you have to because at the end of the day when you get to that level right let's say you're you you're striving so hard to become a millionaire or you're striving so hard to you know make that promotion at work or striving so hard to get that perfect relationship that you want right and we we want these things but not realizing that at the end of the day everything in life nothing's gonna be perfect everything whether it be a relationship whether it be a job whether it be a career whether you get all that money you desire and you want nothing is ever going to be perfect that there's always going to be setbacks because those setbacks i realized and i can help you guys to realize is making room for bigger and better opportunities bigger and better doors to open that new things and new experiences and new people can't come inside of your life if you're clinging on to the old if you're clinging on and this is where it comes into our ego clings on to these stories so we cling on to these stories of these expectations whether it be from people whether it be from work whether it be from money whatever we create all these stories and then we cling on to these stories right and i had to realize that at the end of the day it's okay to set goals for yourself it's okay to have a vision but let it the fuck go let it go let it go like frozen just let it go let let the expectations you have on that person expectations you have on the situation expectations that you have on the outcome let it all go because at the end of the day yes we have a vision yes we have a goal yes we have something in in mind of how we want this person to treat us but at the end of the day and we want that money and we want that career we want that success but at the end of the day the universe can sometimes give you better. The universe can sometimes send you better people in your life than what you have right now. But your your whole, your ego is clinging on to that story you created of those people or created of that situation and you're so clinged on, you're not making room for the universe to bring you better, to open the door, to, to show you the doors that's gonna bring you to bigger and better. Maybe more money than you expected. Maybe a better friendship than you expected. Maybe a better relationship that you accept, expected. And at the end of the day, I had to really realize because I would cling on so tightly on uh, my, my ex, right? That, you know, we were together and I was so clinged on to the story that I created of him that I wasn't able to see the the negative of all what he was doing to me that it just we were not good for each other but I was so clinged on to what I wanted and what I expected right and the same thing with the fr friendships I had so many friendships that came and go but they taught they taught me valuable lessons right and sometimes when and when the universe or God is trying to level you up on a different scale to take you to new heights 
You sometimes have to close the doors of certain friendships that no longer serves you, but taught you great valuable lessons about yourself. Because I always say, in like in any videos that I talk about, when I talk about you know situations of yourself or, or anything that I talk about, we are a mirror of our reality. Whether we like to admit it or not, we're a real. So if we're not liking our reality, that just means that we need to take a step back and understand what are the stories that you're clinging on to. What are the things that you're not letting go of? What are the things that you know you're you're not facing in the mirror that you need to face so you can you can work on you so that when you work on you, then you'll be able to handle those bigger and better things that the universe or God wants to send to you. But if you are not mentally and emotionally ready then you can't open those new doors that the universe and god won't bring you those new people and those new situations and more money because you are not taking a step back to work on yourself to understand what are the things that you need to work on with inside of you right instead of blaming it so much on the outside world instead of blaming it on people instead of blaming on situations start looking inward not blaming yourself but asking yourself the right questions Start understanding that life is not happening to you. Life is happening for you, right? That you need to let go of certain things, whether it be people, the job, the what, the the clinged on to that story, your ego's clinged on to that story, or the outcome, and just let it be. Learn, take every experience that's coming inside of your life right now as great learning lessons to grow and evolve and understand. That when, when the universe or God takes away something for, from you, it's not that it, it's punishing you. It's not that it's, it, it's putting you through hard times. It's not that God doesn't see, God doesn't hear you or whatever. It's just preparing you. It's preparing you for maybe bigger and better than you could ever imagine. Because sometimes we are so clinged on to needing to see it in order to believe it. So sometimes we cling on to certain things inside of our life because we don't believe that we can get any better because we don't know how. So if we don't know the how, then we're just like, it's not possible. How can it happen, right? But at the end of the day, it's realizing that you don't need to see how. You just need to believe. Because I realize that we are abundance. We are abundance. We are, we are created whole and complete. And everything that we desire outside of us, whether it be a good friendship, a good relationship, more money, a better job, our, our career to be successful, whatever it is, it all starts within us. And it all starts with us seeing that our value, seeing that we're whole, seeing we're complete, seeing that we're not lacking anything. So when things get removed out of our life, we're not gonna punish, we're not gonna... We're, we're not going to drop down to the bottom of our core and, and feel like n a pit of nothingness because certain things got taken out of our life. We'll, we'll start to feel whole. We'll start to feel complete, understanding that it's okay if things come and go, right? That's all what life is. Life is all about things coming in your life and leaving out of your life to elevate you to better things to keep coming in your life because we can't have better things to come in our life if we're clinging on to the old. We're clinging on to the old friendships. We're clinging on to the old relationships. We're clinging on to the old memories. We're clinging on to, you know, how things need to happen. At the end of the day, it's understanding that things come and things go. Let it in, let it go. And when you can really hone on to releasing and letting go, right? It, it's like you take back a power with inside of you to start feeling like, I'm not gonna feel this anger. I'm not gonna feel this depression. I'm not gonna feel this anxiety. I'm not gonna get upset at the outcomes because I understand life is not happening to me. Life is happening for me. And what is meant to be in my life will be in my life. What's meant to go out of my life is meant to go out of my life. And at the end of the day, I know for a fact that when things are leaving out of my life, it's just making room for bigger and better things to enter into my life. 
So with that being said, I hope that this video has inspired you and motivated you that to come back and watch this video. When you see that life is hitting you with challenges, when you see that life is hitting you with obstacles, when you see that life is maybe taking away some things that you you wanted in your life, if you see that you're going through a hard time with a friendship and it's not going how you wanted it to go or a relationship or your job or with money or whatever, you can come back to this video to understand that life is not happening to you, life is happening for you. And I hope that this video will inspire you to wake up today and look at everything that it's coming and it's going, that I'm not gonna cling on to anything because I understand that I am whole and I am complete with or without those things that leave or come. So with that being said again, you guys, each one teach one, share the love, share the knowledge, whatever value you gain from this video, make sure that you're having a great discussion with somebody else because you never know who, who needs this motivation, who needs these words of encouragement to uplift them and help them in some sort of way. And if you guys like this video, please hit the like button. Please, if you didn't, give me a thumbs down or leave a comment. Let me know what your thoughts are about this video. Let me know what are some things that you're going through that you need some um, letting go of or inspiring or motivation about. Let me know if you guys want to hear a great a, a topic about maybe something you're going through that I can give advice on. And if you guys like, I have the amazing Wise Up, Rise Up community to keep you up inspired and to help you wise up and rise up anywhere, any area of your life in any way that I, I can help you. Um, so the community is on Facebook. There's a Wise Up, Rise Up um, group on Facebook. I also have the Wise Up, Rise Up podcast uh, on Spotify and Anchor. There's a lot of great content on there as well. Different content, not the same as YouTube. And you could also check me out on TikTok and on Instagram. I'll leave it in the comments below on where you can find me on TikTok and Instagram to stay inspired and stay uplifted. Thanks so much for joining me in this video and I'll see you guys in another video. Take care.